I'll let Nate do. Uh, I have towers. Nate's gonna do this. This line. Brace yourself. <laughs> Those look like two hairy legs. I, I think like they're supposed to be. Go up real quick. I think there are. They are supposed to be. Lep. Ah, uh, kinda. Just, it just looks like hairy, hairy stockings. Like it's the wicked witch of the uh, east's. Come on, get up there. Corpse sticking out of the ground. You can do it. Greenies. Yeah. Well, oh, you could just stick them on the... Yeah, if you didn't want to. Great thing about green ones. <laughs> you can They're reposition. Them. You oh. gotta make weird, structurally sound things that you can make climb, basically. <laughs> yep. I like this one. I also love the little sound effects they make. What's the sign painter say? Oh, we'll find out in just a second. He's got a lot to say. Oh. New species of Gooball! I must say, they look quite beautiful. Maybe they have commitment anxiety, I'm not sure. But it looks like they can be easily detached from each other. The helpful sign painter. Up here. If a Gooball falls into a well ten meters deep... It climbs up three meters each day, but slides down <laughs> two meters at night. Will he still be looking fabulous in the morning? Maybe if he were to brace against the walls as hard as he could and believe in the power of friction, he could leave the ground behind. Friction. Friction. Blarg chick of Hong Kong. What? What? Because <laughs> it attached to the, oh. the oh, well. three... Working way I wanted to. I'm trying to brace him against the wall. Yeah, that's the good thing about this one is you you can usually if you get your goo balls up to the point with these guys, you can just reposition and get maximum amount for maximum effort. Yep. <laughs> there we go. All right, Google. Google. We have to we have to not forget about the uh uh Google. Our go back fireflies also. Yeah. So we can uh, like when that happens. Yeah. <laughs> Zoop. <laughs> that was weird. It just kinda like exploded and simply collapsed on itself. There was yeah, there was like some I think it's that. I think it's when it's connecting to another one. It's not bracing it, it's pulling it towards it. So when that connection gets broken instead of supporting it it's going right sucking it to the middle one yeah uh there we go <laughs> physics what other physics games have you played uh, a few of them um Probably one of my favorites, strangely enough, is Bad Piggies of recent memory. Bad Piggies? It's a spin-off of the uh, Angry Birds franchise. Oh yeah, now I remember. The one where you like uh Um You like build little like uh But I've played quite a few physics puzzle games in my day. Um Banjo because we think that one was weird, it's just like sucked up. <laughs> they're like double layered on top of each other. Okay, cool. Alright, we're getting there. Slowly, but it looks surely. like we're getting more efficient at it. <laughs> also, we can do this. You just cheat. Yay! Um, because then you just get bold and you start killing these off. Yeah, until you can make one that fits. Uh, uh we did. We did get enough to pass. So. Let's just move on. Yeah, <laughs> we're not going to OCD it. No. Um. I've done a trick where what you do is you wedge it between the pipe and the top leg, uh -huh. and then you can get almost all of them. You only leave, like, four behind or something like that. But it takes a lot of work. Blah, blah, blah. All right, so I'm going to go one more. Yeah. Over here. A bloopity. I was going to say another one I was thinking of, another uh, physics puzzle. Oh, this one. Oh, we can't let him get caught in the death. I remember how this one works. Is this a timing thing? <laughs> you slowly have to brace all yeah. of it. 
Okay, it's not a death hole. Because it's not a death hole. It's just, that's in the background. So you just have to get it so it... It's, the legs space out far enough. So that it wiggles around. And works its way to the top. So we have to make a big wiggly dong. Oh! Like that. Yay! <laughs> Already done. And we're going to get quite a few bonuses. Yay! And then we can even do this. We can probably yeah, cheat. Yeah, start. A few more yeah, in. these guys out. Ah. Oh well. Continue. 24 of 8 is pretty good. That's pretty good. I think particularly because we only needed to get like... 8. 8? Yeah. 24. Yeah, goal 8. Google. <laughs> nice. 17 moves. Um, I was going to say, uh, I just thought of another physics puzzle game very much like this. Uh, which is... Have you ever played um, Crayon Physics Deluxe? Yes. That, uh, I've played it actually on mobile. Go as fast as you can. They all have right. to work together. The real Tower of Goo. Oh, this is the... This isn't... Oh, yeah, this is. Okay. I was like... I forgot that there was a level based on this. But uh, there's... Later on, there's the um, like extra mode thing right. that you can do, you which is just see infinite. see how high you can get. Yeah, infinite. Yeah, I remember that. And I think it this reminds me so much of being in the. Uh, it like uses all the goo balls that you've rescued. The number. The uh, my engineering, some and techno and engineering technology class I took in high school. Oh really? Because we had a final final was you had to build a structure using only like super thin balsa wood uh -huh. um, oh, we have to and uh, you, you were allowed glue but the glue was not allowed to be to laminate layers together and the only other binding agent you were allowed was thread and I remember I cheesed it so hard because I used upholstery thread as my thread. Nice. <laughs> and then I was so like well, the and then I was thread. doing this. I was wrapping bundles of the balsa wood sticks together with the upholstery thread uh -huh. in a super tight wrap. Like you might as well. It was a fishing pole, basically. Nice. So I built this like triangle, ultimate tower, like. That was um, out of a fishing pole, and I shattered the school record, <laughs> only for one of my friends to rip off my technique and break my record a year later. Nice. It was still fun, though. We actually ran out of weights to place on it. <laughs> and when everyone was all... And I was, like, showing people how I tested, and they're like, what? How are you testing? And I go, I stand on it. Like, what? <laughs> and I just went and stepped on it in the middle of the class. I'm like, oh my god, don't do that. You're going to break... Oh, wow. <laughs> it was really funny. I think you're good. Add a little bit more support. I think we should be able to just kind of make a little tower. Yeah. Pretty standard. I love all the little sounds I make. You're getting there. Yeah. You only have a little bit left to go. You just do a square now. Yep. You can go smaller. Point. Yes. Suck up all the goo balls. Now the goo balls just need to move faster. I, yeah, like, I swore that there was a mechanic Hit in the 25. game. There was a mechanic where you could, like, call their attention to where your clicker was. Um, I've got another... What was another physics game that's fun? It's like a liquid-based one. It's a Steam game. I, I have it on my Steam library. Mm -hmm. And it's all about fluid dynamics. So, like, all of the puzzles involve cleverly dealing with the fact that you've got moving liquids, and it uses, like, a really, like, chunky uh, particle system uh -huh. in a vector interface. And it looks really cool, though. I'm going to uh, look that up. And after, I can't remember what it's called. We'll have to look at it. It's on this, it's on this Steam account that we're playing on right now. Chain. This is the one where Two you have groups. to, like, build them together. Oh, it's... Oh, okay. You have to dangle the green ones down to get them, then bring yeah. them back up, and then... Because the green ones are impermanent. So you can dangle them. Dingle dang. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and they do the three-point pairing... 
which makes them make stronger structures for less goo balls. Get on there, you little goo demons. Goobs. Goobers. Goobers. Get on. <laughs> Get over here. Get over here. Uh. Whoop. But technically, you can just lift them up and. I think if you just do that, they'll fall back. Yeah. yeah. So. Get off, you little. Get off. Get off me. Wrong color. Oh, bloop. Drop them. Throw them. Throw them What's great is because they don't matter for structural integrity purposes. Oh, yeah. You can just. Or you don't have to worry about accidentally making a structure with them and leaving it somewhere. Yeah, this one, it, there's no harm in it because, like, nothing's going to fall. Yeah. Uh, I like Ooh. that you can, you don't have to uh, have the two. So I could do that and then take that one away and make a point. Huh, and then you could take one of those two on the sides off and just make it a dangling yep, little rope. make a little dangle rope. Once the... Yeah, stop. There we go. Dangle rope. Yeah, yeah, the angle of the dangle. Dangle rope Oh no! <laughs> Get back here. Oh, I can pick him up now. He's woke up. He's woke. <laughs> yeah. he, he stayed woke. He stayed woke. Oh. Put him... Put these green ones back. Oh no, you dropped some. Get back here. You're not allowed to leave. <laughs> no, you must... Blue Ball escapes. <laughs> <laughs> Just toss him. Just whoop. Whoop. So for maximum efficiency, we'll use the greens. Uh. Yeah. It's only kind of barfy. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Get back over here. That works. Yep. Green. Boop, 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 boop. We have sufficient goobles. Sufficient goo ball collect. And now we can do one, two, two three. I love that one. OCD. Oh, we did it. I got one, one OCD. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a good place to stop for this episode, I bet. Yay! So we will continue with... Are we going to play more World with Goo? Uh, we want to like, just blow through this whole game? Uh, let's at least finish this uh, world. Alright, well we will continue that then next time. <laughs>